Not all the boats are destined to traverse the oceans, and those that aren't will definitely benefit from swapping a gas guzzling engine for an efficient combination of a battery pack and an electric motor. As promised, in this video we'll be introducing you to the world of all-electric yachts and zero emission boats. The marinas of tomorrow will be filled with electric day cruisers, speedboats, tenders and hydrofoils, and you must be the first to know about them. So subscribe to Automotive Territory where we cover all the things motorized and enjoy today's cruise. Candela C8 Founded in 2014, the Swedish startup Candela Boats quickly became a pioneer in the field of electric hydrofoil watercraft. After proving their concept to the original C7 that had an outboard motor design, Candela came up with the new, sleek-looking C8 offered in a daily cruiser and center console versions. This 28-foot boat has an improved hydrofoil system that eliminates as much as 80% of the drag. Two front carbon struts are joined by a wing-shaped foil and a single rear strut features a torpedo-shaped C-pod electric propulsion unit with wings extending out from the sides. Interestingly, in shallow harbors, the foils and the motor can be entirely retracted from the water. In 2023, Candela has also partnered with a neighboring manufacturer of electric vehicles Polestar to source their electric powertrains. The Polestar-powered C8 draws just 30 horsepower at cruising speeds of 22 knots, and can speed to 30 knots. Her 69 kWh battery pack ensures 57 nautical miles of cruising, supports DC fast charging, and comes with an 11 kW 3-phase AC charging as standard. ARC-1 The Los Angeles-based electric startup ARC has come out of the shadow mode and released close to production specifications of their e-boat. The project has already attracted $30 million in funding from high-profile investors like Will Smith, Kevin Durant and Sean Diddy Combs. This 24-foot day cruiser can carry up to 12 passengers in its aluminum hull. Her battery pack is three times the size of a Tesla Model Y. Its 220 kWh capacity ensures approximately 100 miles for hour power duration before requiring recharge, and as ARC CEO Mitch Lee emphasized, its weight of 3,000 pounds provides unmatched stability on water and enables water sports activities. With a motor output of 500 horsepower, ARC-1 is able to achieve a top speed of approximately 35 knots, and the recharge time takes just 40 minutes from 0 to 80. The ARC-1 targets luxury customers with a retail price of $300,000, following the approach of selling high-priced, low-volume products to fund future, lower-cost models. At this point, ARC envisions expanding into other water sports vehicles, such as jet skis, and they're also exploring commercial vessels like ferries. Pure Pontoon Boat Established in 2011, the Washington-based Pure Watercraft specializes in creating electric outboard water systems and boats. In 2021, a quarter of the company was acquired by GM, and some two months later, Pure revealed the prototype of its first fully in-house designed electric barge. This spring, the firm launched a production intent version of the model, powered by one or two outboard motors with a propeller-integrated power tilt trim. Each is rated for 34 horsepower and is used by an automotive-grade battery pack from General Motors. The latter can have 66 kWh maximum capacity and fast charging capability, requiring just one hour to regain 80% of its charge. The entire drivetrain is surely IPX7 waterproof. Depending on the number of motors, the pontoon boat can achieve 12 or 20 knot speeds, covering 28 and 25 nautical miles respectively. On the minimal speed of 4.3 knots, she can travel for 91 nautical miles. The model is good for up to 10 people, is equipped with a Bluetooth throttle, and is fitted with a GPS-enabled information display that keeps the driver aware of the remaining charge, travel time, and current speed. Navier M30 
The US made Navier is determined to get a piece of the hydrofoil electric boat market dominated by the Swedes. The company claims that their new N30 model can cover nearly 75 nautical miles on a single charge, which is a significant improvement in a 30 feet class. The N30 gets futuristic exterior design, but inside keeps everything quite classic. The model is offered in three versions an open top, a hard top, or a cabin. Regardless, she's capable of comfortably accommodating up to 10 passengers, targeting both recreation and luxury water taxi niches. The M30 also pioneers advanced software and technologies, like the first ever one click auto docking feature for a hydrofoil electric boat. Using multiple sensors, the system navigates the vessel to the user selected docking slip while automatically compensating for the wind, waves, and other external conditions. Other tech features of the N30 include advanced assistive autopilot, and in the future, the company promises to implement full self driving capability. Navier's new model is propelled by two 122 horsepower motors good enough for the speeds of 35 knots, and the hydrofoil's lift is enabled at 16 knots. Ingenuity Electric Hacker Craft This model is the creation of two American companies with 100-year-old history, Hacker Craft that is known for its mahogany luxury speedboats and Ingenuity Electric that develops electric powertrain systems for different water vessels. The build starts as a classic 27-foot Hacker Sport model with a brand special treatment. The latter means that the boat's hull is sheathed in fiberglass and is custom painted in all grip paint. Of course, Ingenuity is responsible for the drivetrain. An electric motor paired to the 126 kWh battery pack. The setup allows for the maximum speed of 30 knots and an hour runtime. At cruise speeds of 18 knots, the company promises 30 nautical miles of travel. The installed battery is also capable of DC fast charging which means that you'll be able to fully restore its potential in one and a half hours, which is a duration of a pleasant lunch. If you want to see more watercraft in our channel, then make sure to smash the like button and leave a request in the comment section below saying I want more. We will definitely deliver if properly encouraged. Thank you and let's keep rolling! Silent Tender 400 this mini boat was created to complement the experience of the owners of silent solar-powered yachts and catamarans. This clean and silent tender will zip you from shore to yacht or let you have fun riding the waters around it. The model is built to be as compact and lightweight as possible. It has a carbon fiber hull surrounded by rubber coating that provides extra protection and invokes the window stripe design of larger boats by silent. Weighing just 198 pounds without the propulsion system, the Tender 400 has a length of 13.1 feet and a beam of 6.56 feet. Still, it is capable of accommodating up to 6 passengers and speeding to 20 knots, depending on the chosen drive setup. Speaking of the powertrain, the company offers two options, an electric jet drive making 27 horsepower or an outboard motor with up to 41 HP. Standard battery is 16 kWh, but you can upgrade for your larger 20 kWh pack. The latter is good for 2 hours of riding at 10 knots, while taking 2.5 hours for a full recharge. Crisscraft Launch 25 GTE The story of Crisscraft goes nearly 150 years back, when Chris Smith and Sons Boat Co was established in 1874. In 2018, the brand was purchased by Winnebago. And now with the input from its parent company, Chriscraft is ready to bring electrification to its lineup of classy-looking waterfarers. Based on the production Launch 25 GT, the GTE concept is a fully functional electric boat developed in cooperation with Advanced Technology Group, also responsible for the Winnebago ERV and ERV2 campers. The GT measures 25 feet and 8 inches in length and has the usual crisscraft design. The power is supplied by 420 horsepower electric stern drive that can produce 44 knot speeds, 
and comes paired to the 133 kWh battery pack. According to the company, the setup shall give you around 2 hours of runtime. This concept was presented at the 2023 Miami Boat Show, and Chris Kraft is currently looking into hybrid solutions that would increase the GT's range and allow to bring it to the market. XO Power 25 and Goldfish X9 powered by Evoi. Using all of that money is earned through selling fossil fuels, Norway has become by far the most active adopter of green energy and electric vehicles. The next step would be the adoption of electric powertrains for a massive fleet of Norwegian recreational boats with the domestic manufacturer Evoi at the helm of this process. Unlike combustion engines that have up to 2,000 moving parts, Evoi motor has only four, and it is offered in both outboard and inboard versions. The very first vessels to be equipped by these systems are also manufactured in Norway. The Goldfish X9 is a utility boat sold as a standard top with a console cockpit, T-top with a practical carbon roof, and carbon top with a semi-enclosed cabin. In turn, the Axopar is a 25-foot day cruiser mini yacht with a comfortable cuddy cabin. The line of motors by Evoi is represented by 120 HP Breeze, 200 HP Gale, 300 horsepower Storm, and the flagship 400 HP Hurricane Series motors. These are used by single 2 or 363 kWh Chrysal battery packs with a range from 18 to 55 nautical miles, cruise speed of 25 knots, and top speed of 50. EJAT 4X Electric Tender The Slovenian startup needed seven years of intensive R&D before they could create an electric tender that would outperform most of its IC-dependent competitors. The EJAT's new 4X comes equipped with an 82-horsepower electric motor and a standard 46.2 kWh battery pack. The bigger power, combined with a newly optimized hull, promises a top speed of 35 knots and nearly 40 nautical miles of range on a single charge. This 13-feet-long tender features a 7-inch touchscreen dashboard that allows the pilot to switch between three driving modes – power, normal, and echo. The latter will be activated automatically when the battery goes too low. For the asking price, eJet also equips the e-tender with LED navigation lighting, integrated GPS, hydraulic steering system, and a ski hook for water skiing. On the options list, there are underwater lights and a Garmin Fusion sound system. With a 12 kW fast charger, the battery will be juiced in 4 hours. But eJet is already working on quicker charging solutions. Axshore 1 The Swedish Axshore has already started the deliveries of their most affordable model, which was presented in September last year. More than two times cheaper than the Elex 8000, the one inherits its more expensive sibling Scandinavian design and measures just 5 feet shorter. To balance the production costs, the Axshore used fiberglass as a key material for the hull, while carbon fiber is only present in the roof and water sports attachment points. Furthermore, instead of teak wood, the decking is covered with cork. Designed for short trips with friends, the one features an open transom with an integrated swim platform and a sunbed, which can be transformed into a sofa with a backrest. The forward deck is another spot for sunbathing, while underneath it there is a sleeping space for two and plenty of storage options. The new model is propelled by the same 170 horsepower electric motor that can push the boat at the maximum speed of 30 knots. The better choice, however, would be comfortable 20 knot cruise speed, which allows reaching the maximum range of 50 nautical miles. Chase Zero Emirates Team New Zealand first introduced foiling to America's Cup in 2012. A decade later, they're getting ready to once again revolutionize this yachting competition with an electric hydrofoiling chase boat powered by hydrogen fuel cells and batteries. This innovative 32.8 feet long catamaran chase boat was developed in conjunction with McConaughey boats. 
She carries six crew members and features two Toyota hydrogen fuel cells, one in each hull, running on green hydrogen produced through membrane-free electrolysis that is stored in gas form at a maximum pressure of 350 bar. The boat is also equipped with twin electric motors generating 295 horsepower, enabling it to reach speeds of 30 knots and a range of approximately 97 nautical miles on one hydrogen fill. Moreover, the powertrain features two 42 kWh battery packs, which act as a filter for fast changes in power demand, allowing the motors to yield up to 560 horsepower and 15 knots of speed for a short period of time. Following the success of the Chase Zero, there is a possibility that the protocol for the future America's Cup may require all the teams using hydrogen-powered support boats, potentially reducing fossil fuel usage across the entire event. What do you think about the concept of electric boats and yachts? Are they a viable solution for local water transportation and recreation? Let's talk below the video. Do not forget that if you want to see more watercraft on our channel, we ask you to give this episode a like and ask for more in the comment section. We'll be leaving links to other exciting content on the screen. See you soon, and until then, may the torque be with you!